Hello dear children, before starting the practicals, I am going to introduce the microscope. Compound microscope. A compound microscope is an instrument used for enlarging and magnifying the image of an object which is not seen by the naked eyes. It helps us to study the cellular organization of plants and animals. A compound microscope has the following parts. Base. It is usually a horseshoe shaped structure which provides a stable support for the microscope. Pillar. It is a small vertical projection from the base. Arm. It is usually curved and used for handling the instrument. Inclination joint. At this joint, the arm is attached to the pillar. Stage. It is usually a rectangular flat plate attached to the lower end of the arm. It is used for keeping the object whose image is to be magnified. It has a hole in the center for the light rays to pass. Clips. There are two clips attached to the stage which are used for holding the slide in position. Nose piece. It is a circular metallic structure attached below the body tube. Three different objective lenses can be fitted into it. Usually two objective lenses are seen with high power and low power. A provision for third objective lens is also seen in the nose piece. Diaphragm. It is attached to the base of the stage and regulates the amount of light entering into the microscope. Normally it is of two types, disc diaphragm and iris diaphragm. Coarse adjustment screw. It is a bigger sized screw that can move the body tube up and down for focusing. Eyepiece lens fitted at the top of the body tube through which the magnified image of the object is seen. Fine adjustment screw. It is smaller sized screw for very slow movements needed for fine and sharp focusing. Mirror is attached to the lower end of the arm or the pillar. There are two mirrors, a plain mirror and a concave mirror. It is used for reflecting light rays into the microscope. Working of microscope. First of all, adjust the mirror so that sufficient amount of light enters into the microscope by seeing through the eyepiece. Then keep a clean prepared slide in the center of the stage. Use clips to fix this slide on the stage so that it does not move. Move the coarse adjustment screw to bring the slides in focus. Focusing should be made sharp by the use of fine adjustment screws. We normally use the microscope in low magnification. To use high magnification, first adjust in low magnification and then change into high magnification. Temporary mounts preparation. Aim to prepare stained temporary mount peel of onion peel and to record observations and draw labeled diagrams. Materials required onion, plain slides, cover slip, watch glass, forceps, needles, brush, blade, safranin, filter paper, glycerin, and microscope. Procedure. Take a piece of onion and with the help of a forcep, gently pull a thin transparent peel from the ventral or inner side. Keep this peel in water in a petri dish or watch glass. Add a few drops of safranin stain in the watch glass to stain the peel. Both over staining and under staining should be avoided. Now transfer the peel on a clean slide with the help of a brush. Add a drop of glycerin on the slide, cover the peel and put the cover slip gently. Care must be taken to avoid the entry of air bubbles and the mounting should be done in the center of the slide. Remove the excess of water or stain, if any from the slide surrounding the peel with the help of a blotting paper. After putting the cover slip, press it a bit with a needle to spread the glycerin over peel properly. Examine the slide under the microscope. Observations 
there are a large number of cells lying side by side with distinct cell walls. A distinct nucleus is present on one side of the cell. A big vacuole is present in the center of the cell.